so let's get started. I'm going to do this arm um, smoky look I guess you'd say in some silvers and greys um, today. Just something a little bit neutral. Um, probably some of you wear it at night I guess, um, through the day. It just depends on your mood, depends where you're going. Um, I happen to really like this and it's a bit of a variation on some of the other colours I've done. Um, I am using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay which I'm sure you've all heard so much about. So let's get started. Basically what I've already done is I've curled my lashes and I've put on one coat of mascara um, and I've already put down my eye primer. So I'm just going to go in with a really fine um, soft bristled brush and the colour I am going to go in with which is always my favourite <laughs> highlight and crease uh, highlight colour is this booty call so I'm just going to go in and highlight the corner of my eye and blend that up onto my brow bone just to give me a little bit of highlight this is quite a lovely colour it's um, it's champagne. It's also a shame because in this the light so that you can see it actually probably produces a lot more shimmer than it does in natural light. I also take this colour just down under my eye just by dabbing it onto the very end of the brush just to pull that colour and brighten the inside of my eye a bit. So once you've got that all blended and I always just bring it in that arc motion just so that you get a nice colour. So that's that. Next I'm going in with this little flat brush. This is an e.l.f. brush um, that I've purchased which I'm not sure if you can see that or not. It's great for packing on crease colour. So the colour I'm actually going to go in with is Verve. It's this silvery shade. So I just pack it onto the brush just basically like that so I get really packed on colour and just go in and pack it on my eyelid. So I basically run up to the crease and I make sure that I get a good coverage of that. Now because I'm going for a darker look today, I, sorry, I probably picked the wrong eye to do. Um, I, don't, I won't take that colour down underneath. Next I'm going to go in with another e.l.f. brush. This is a nice little pencil brush. So the colour I'm going to be using is Pistol. So it's this nice silvery colour. Um, two things I do, first of all just very lightly on the end of the brush and I bring that colour down under my eye. I've already primed under my eye as well just to give that eyeshadow something to stick to. Then just going back into the pistol, I just run it along my eyelashes and then up into my crease, just start starting to create that V. And as always, you're far better off going in lightly and building up the colour rather than trying to remove colour. And I probably go about halfway with that, just so that it gets a bit of that darkening in the corner without too much and I'm going to blend last so but as you can see that's already reasonably well blended. The next thing I do is I go in with one of my favourite brushes and I don't know whatever I did before this <laughs> I had this, this is also an e.l.f. brush um, I always use this with my black I love it because it's just so precise. So now I'm going to go in with blackout. So just on the very, very tip of the brush, I'm just going to dab that in. Just You can see how fine that brush is. It's very, very precise. So I'm just going in under my bottom lashes and just going along that lash line.
and then I'm going to draw that line up and start blending in. Go back in again and just draw on my eyelashes and pull, start pulling the colour up a bit and blending it in just to start darkening that corner so that I can get that effect that I want. Now as you know I always do my eyes first sorry a fly so just ensuring that that creep is darkened up that corner really quite nicely then I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm just using a very very fine angled brush and um, my wet and wild gel I'm not sure if you can see that it's my wet and wild gel eyeliner in black so I'm just going to put that on and I'm just going to do a really really fine line of that um, only because I don't like you can go much thicker if you like it's personal preference when it comes to eyeliner I think some people like it thick a thicker line other people like it quite fine so it really is personal preference I like it because it just darkens up my lashes especially with this smoky sort of look and then I am just going to bring that out to help deepen that corner where I've already put the black out just to help darken that corner a bit more then as I always do with my gel colors to help them set down a gel eyeliner I just go back in with this brush and a bit more of the blackout and I just lay it over the top just deepens it and helps blend it out so it's still a defined line but it's a little bit softer and I also find it just blends it nicely once I have done that and blended you can see the corner of that eye is now starting to get quite dark which is the look that I'm going for I then go in with a fluffy brush and I am going in with snake bite which is this color here um, I find with my skin tone I can actually use it like as a blending color um, it's a little bit darker than my skin color but it blends this sort of look really nicely together so then with that rainbow motions just blend and take any of those harsh lines basically just blend your highlight color and those crease colors and that black together just to soften the harshness of that so again when your eyes are open and you're looking straight ahead you've got you know color but when you look down then you can see the other pops of color that come out which I quite like then as I always do trusty wipes just to clean up any fallout and glitter and also to get my precise line at the end and I for my mascara I will be using for some reason I can never get this to show my um, Grow Luscious this is in black. I only ever use black mascara. So just a second coat. Now I'll just do the rest of my face and I will be back. So yeah, that's it. Finished look. All done. Unfortunately there will always be imperfections unless you are photoshopped or, or have perfect skin. And by the time you are my age, unfortunately that's just not going to happen. Um, but I'd be really happy to go out the door looking like this um, for night time or to a special event think that it's just a really flawless look um, 
with still a bit of glimmer and a bit of glitter and a bit of colour. So hope you've enjoyed and I will see you again soon. Bye.